the games journalists and their acolytes are the ones that want this real bad for Eastern games, not Western games. Baldur's Gate, Last of Us 2, those are stunning and brave. All the sex scenes and, and full frontal nudity and, and the games that they agree with are totally fine. But you get a woman that looks pretty uh, from a Korean developer and all of a sudden it's a big fucking problem and it needs to be censored immediately. This has everything to do with politics even though gamers don't give a fuck about your politics. Sony uh, was not going to be able to keep their hands off this game. And the people that are fine with the censorship are one of two camps. They just dismiss you and call you names. They're like, well, you, you don't like the censorship? Well, obviously you're a coomer and an incel and we hate you. <laughs> it's just about, it's just about cloth, bro. And then there's the other camp that's like, well, I'm not even into that kind of style of game anyways, because I'm above that. So why do I care? I was like, well, we should care because eventually it's going to come for a game that you like. It wasn't gamers that started the fight. The, the journalists are the ones that went after Sony and said, you got to censor this fucking game. And they're like, no, you need to censor that because my, my feelings, I don't, I don't like pretty girls in games wearing swimsuits. Well, you better stay away from the fucking beach then. <laughs> There's nothing in this game that I haven't seen worse versions of just going to the lo my local beach here. So real life is even less censored than this game is. The, the image on the left is what's in the original game. Like the physical copy, what's pre-fucking patch, pre-censorship. -pre you can see there's a little bit of skin, a little more cleavage. The one on the right, they've definitely put some more cloth in there to cover that up. If that was the version we were given and that was the version that's in the game and nobody knew any differently that the one on the left existed at some point during development, if we got the one on the right, it wouldn't be a fucking issue. That's not the issue. The issue is the fact that this does exist and was in, in the game, in the final product of the game. And then at the last second, the one on the right was the one that Sony went with for the digital copy. It's the spirit of the censorship where they're like, well, absolutely not, we don't want any of this. Even though they originally marketed the game more towards the one on the left. Let's do another one. But the one on the left was the original vision. The one on the right is the digital, what, what they patched into it on day one. But if we got the, the one on the right and that was the original vision of the artist and the developer, no one would have had a fucking problem with it. So that's not the argument. The argument isn't, we need to see more cleavage, even though I'm sure there would have been people that said, hey, we need to get rid of that piece of fabric too. We're saying, why not just give us what was already in the game and the uncensored version already exists within the fucking game. It has nothing to do with just needing to see naked women and this, that, and the other thing. It has to do with censorship and the spirit behind the censorship. That's the problem. Dishonest people are just gonna willfully misinterpret what the argument is to begin with because they're dishonest. Let's take Baldur's Gate, for instance. Everybody remembers Baldur's Gate, that's a gamer. Even if they weren't into the game, they knew they were aware of Baldur's Gate and the controversy surrounding it, how there was a lot of sex scenes. There's some gay stuff in there, you know, which is fine. And bear sex. <laughs> that was a big issue. I've never played it, but I didn't want the game to get censored. We can all see that uh, there's something about to go down with this bear and this gentleman right here. <laughs> so I'm not going to leave this up too long because I don't want my channel pulled down. As you can see, he's about to he's about to get it, get it in with this bear this bear person so bestiality is in the game oh but he's a guy who can turn into a bear so it's different i was like no you're still you're still gonna bear dude but there are some people that said they need to take that out of the game and i was like no just leave it in the game it's what they wanted so that was their original vision i wouldn't say take it out day one patch it out that's basically what they did what's what sony did to stellar blade they day one patched out the bear sex oh you guys remember this one of course you do that's when the most beautiful woman in gaming history abby smash gets smashed in The Last of Us 2. If Sony came out and said, we're gonna censor this and censor that, less people would have bought the game for sure. That's, that's another one too, the fucking hard R. Like really? Let's look at that shit too. The hard R, this is this is what this is what got journalists all, all upset with the original copy of the game that they were given. Then they got into Sony's ear before, before it ever touched our hands. This was in the day one patch too. They patched this out. Now it says Crimer, I think which means something else in the Urban Dictionary, which is kind of funny. Apparently hard R to them means N-word. It just means N-word. You, you can't even put these letters together because it's the same as saying the N-word, even though I'm saying N-word and not the real word, but I will say hard R. You can say hard R all day long and no one's going to punch you in the face. But if I go around saying the actual N-word, then I'm going to get hit in the face, probably. Now, if I write out F word, does that mean fuck? Or if I say, if I write out N and then word, that equals n-word now? That just equals n-word? It's like me saying it? No, it's not the same because, like I said, comedians have brought this up before. It's like, no, the n-word is something we won't say, but hard R we will. So it's not the same just on its face right there, you stupid fucking idiots. Just leave it in the fucking game. What does it matter? 
Not to mention the fact they're they're Korean. They're not even culturally where we are. They didn't know that hard R to you means N-word. Hard R me could mean hard R rating. Just could be physically an R made of granite. That would be a hard R. F word is the same as saying fuck. And S word is the same as saying shit. He said retard with a hard R. Retard. Do you consider, you know, video games as an art? I do. Is it high art? I don't know. There can be a debate there, I guess. But should art be censored? No. No, it should not. The original vision of the artist, this in this case, the developer shift up to be respected and you can rate it however you want. They had a, they have a big problem with Stellar Blade because it's an, an East Asian game and East Asia is more based than the West. Therefore, by default, they hate East Asian developers more than they would developers that are in the West because East Asia, Korea, Japan, they don't buy into the same politics that the Western game developers would like everybody to buy into. You got Grums on Twitter here, who's a major player in the hashtag free Stellar Blade movement. They've censored him talking about it even on X. They were censoring him. Some guy put out a $20,000 hit on him or implied that they wanted them, somebody to take him out for 20 grand. These, these uh, activists are everywhere and they really just don't want you to talk about it. They want you to notice the censorship and know that they had some, they had something to do with it and that they have the power, but they also but they also don't want you complaining about it. The censorship shouldn't exist. It shouldn't be. They just give us the original fucking game. They, they, they could put it in there as a toggle switch, you know? You know, censored or uncensored version of the game. On, off. There you go. Problem fucking solved. And if you're really for censorship and you love it, then you can toggle and have the censorship on and you can save yourself from having to see more skin than you want than you want to see but it's not about the censorship or the cloth really it's the spirit behind the censorship and how it was marketed to people if sony came out and was honest and said no we're going to censor a lot of the outfit less people would have bought the game if they end up reversing it maybe i'll make a, a video on it again but other than that i'm just going to put out some gameplay of stellar blade and maybe do if i can get, get my hands on a physical copy and do an uncensored playthrough i'll do that if you guys want just let me know and that's it for that right now until we meet again